teachings of the Buddha as a whole uh, has to be included in the Four Noble Truths. And uh, the fourth truth, the truth of the way, uh, sometimes uh, it's explained in uh, uh, eight uh, noble paths. And sometimes, uh, in the case of the Mahayana, uh, they present it as six paramitas. Uh, in six paramitas, uh, every eight uh, noble path is there. Uh, except uh, in a slightly different order. Uh, it starts with giving or generosity, or the parameter of generosity, uh, because uh, the main motivation of a bodhisattva is to, uh, is to help other beings, uh, because uh, the main motivation is that I would like to not only uh, free myself, transform myself from all kind of sufferings and pain and unhappiness, uh, but also all other sentient beings who are exactly similar to myself and um, who, like myself, who do not want to be free, who do not want to be suffering and want to be free from any kind of pain and problem and suffering, but do not know how to. Uh, so therefore, uh, the most important intention or the motivation of the Bodhisattva is to help. So therefore, the first thing comes is to, to give, how to help, how to give. Uh, so the generosity has two parts. One is, uh, that to, uh, to train oneself to um, become uh, generous, the experience of being generous and not stingy and miserliness and uh, not to have the, the poverty kind of mentality, to free yourself from that. And the secondly, on how to really help other beings in these two ways. And it's very important to, uh, to work on ourselves first, that we become more uh, generous. Generous means that uh, I uh, develop a sense of uh, satisfaction, mm. sense of uh, being contented, a sense of uh, being able to be feeling okay, even if I do not have uh, too many things, that I can even share what I have, whatever little that I have. Uh, because how rich I am from a spiritual point of view uh, is not measured by how many things I have, or how big a uh, bank balance I have, but how satisfied I am. The more satisfied I am, the more I am rich. So therefore, to, you know, we all need to um, cultivate this sense that uh, whatever I have, or in whatever situation I am, uh, I am satisfied, I am happy, I am contented with that. And it's not only me that needs lots of things. I need only what makes me survive. But what I really need is to be able to share and help others. And so therefore, when I'm understanding or thinking about what is it that uh, I can do to help others, uh, that I can give or share that would help other beings. When my mind turns uh, 
towards others, not only to myself. Uh, what I am lacking, what I need, what I want, not that, but what I can do, what is good for others, what I can give, that transforms my life and makes me more satisfied and also see problems of others, so therefore my own problem becomes relatively smaller or at least sometimes I don't even feel that. And therefore, you know, to, to, to start to train ourselves to give people, to share people from small things, uh, to make the habit of, uh, of giving, not that we have to give everything that we have, even if we don't want to, but starting very little things like it is said in the Bodhichaya Avatara, if you feel okay to give a cup of curry, then you give a cup of curry. And if you become so used to giving that even if you have to give uh, your life and if it really helps lots of beings and you don't have any problem there, then you might even do that, but not before. So therefore, the, the generosity, the giving, uh, is a training and uh, something that would help not only other people, but myself also, because the more I know that I am doing something for others, the more satisfied and more kind of feeling that my life is meaningful and useful happens. So that's why uh, the generosity is regarded as the first and the most important uh, training or practice. The second parameter is parameter of shila or the parameter of right conduct.